In this tutorial, we're going to look at a nested if, uh, which is a little more involved than a simple if. Notice that I put a comment up here telling us what our options are. If the age is less than 5, then the ticket price would be 0. If the age is between 5 and 12, the price would be $5, and anyone 12 or over is going to be equal to 10. Now, to start this, it's very similar to a simple if. I'm going to have a variable price which I am going to initialize to 0. So I'm going to set price to 0 and then directly under that ask the user to put in the age of the person who's buying the ticket. So it's a text prompt and I'm going to store that in age. Oop, not, not in caps. Now I'm ready for my first if statement, so I'm going to drag the selection right over underneath input, and my first condition is age less than 5. That's for anyone under 5. And my next condition is to check, because if they're under 5, there is no change in price since we've set it to 0, but my next condition is that ages 5 to 12. So I need another if, so I've got to drag another selection down here on the no path because there's a decision to be made if they're over 5. So in this one, I'm going to ask if they are under 13, which includes 12. You have to be careful of the boundaries. If they are under 13, that would make them in the range age 5 to 12. So I'm asking here if they're under 5, and that would follow the yes path and give you a ticket price of 0. But if they're older than 4, it's going to follow this no path. Now, if they're under 13, then I've got to reset the price to $5. So I'm going to pull down another assignment box here, and in this case, the price would be 5. So I'm going to reset price on the yes path of this second if to 5. And then, if that's true, the price will be $5, and then, of course, the flow arrows come down. If they aren't under 13, I need to reset the price to 10, so I'm going to drag another assignment box over here and set price to 10. And then I still need to print my output. So my output statement is going to go down underneath the whole structure of ifs here because whichever way I get there, I'm going to print out the same thing, and that's a literal string that says ticket price equals, and a dollar sign, close the quote, and concatenate price. So I'm going to run the program, and we'll try all variations of ages. So we enter our age of 3, it's going to come down this yes path, and tell us the price is 0. Run it again and put in an age of 8 and it's going to drop down through the yes path of the second if and tell us that the price is 5. And if I run it the third time and tell it that the age is 22, then it's going to default over to the no path and set a price of 10. So what we've got here is what we call a nested if. This is the first if, and under the first if, we're, we have another if. So basically what we're saying here is if age is less than 5, then the ticket price is 0. Else, then check again. If age is less than 13, then price is equal to 5. Else, price is equal to 10. And in all three cases, we do print the output. So this is what we call a nested if, and it also includes an if-else in both cases. 